Yo, so I've been using the legendary Gurgur no Mi for about a week now and I've unlocked, used, and battled with all of the currently available abilities. So in today's video, I'll be giving my honest review on the Quake Fruit, how it could improve, where it's nice at, where it's not, things like that. These videos where I rate these in-game items will be based on four factors just so we can get this out the way because this is my first time doing this. So the first thing will be the strength for this fruit, uh, how strong it can be for casual player versus enemy and also PvP. Next is the utility. So what can the fruit be used for and how well does it complete those tasks next thing is rarity does this fruit fit into the category that it's placed where does it fit compared to other fruits in the category does it fit well does it not fit well is it there for a good reason you know and finally is the tradeability of the fruit so how likely are you to get a trade off if you send this fruit through some fruits aren't valuable even if they're legendaries just some of them that just aren't that good and then there's something along the lines of like a mago or a pika that can be traded very very highly so you know they're not all fruits are made the same so we're just going to be rating the tradeability of the gura fruit so without further ado let's get straight into it so starting off with strength when it comes to gura gura no mi strength i can solidly give it an eight the gura gura no mi compared to other legendary fruits is pretty pretty good it doesn't really fall behind in damage at all and if anything i think it ranks among the higher end of damaging legendary fruits if we're talking damage only no type of cooldown times or anything gura has some great moves and a lot of potential combos in 1v1 combat especially if you know how to use the z move and your R move. So basically your Z move is a head smash. It's a grab type of move. So you need to be very close range to pull it off. But if you do pull it off, it stuns and it does a ton of damage. And your R move is a counter move. So basically if somebody hits you within the small time frame that you have your pose activated, you will teleport behind them. They cannot block this move. If they hit you, then they're going to get damaged. They're gonna get teleported on and countered. That's just how this works. Another good thing about Gura is that it can be powered up with Bicento. So there are weapons and other things that can be powered up by a fruit and it just so happens that Gura is also one of those now this actually leads us good into our utility phase so basically how well can Gura be used for tasks is it good for tasks is it bad for tasks let's get into it the first thing I can tell you off the top of my head is that Gura is one of my favorite farming fruits simply because of the quake move so basically your C move which is C quake allows you to call in a tsunami from either side of you which basically comes together and makes a massive wave that breaks over top of people. In dungeons, considering how small the maps are, you can easily lure everybody to the middle and just crash the wave down on them. And honestly, it's a free wave depending on your damage because you are most likely to kill all of them in one hit. If you're farming for devil fruits, this is a good fruit to have. You're most likely to get top damage simply because if you quake every other round, you will be receiving massive amounts of damage. You're getting the entire round basically worth of damage it does like behind when it comes to the mobility because a lot of the other legendary fruits have very mobile kinds of builds magu and hiei you can walk on water ito you can swing across the map it really does like behind in the mobility aspect but it really makes up for it when it comes to your farming and your damage so honestly i'm not too mad with it so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven simply because it's lacking behind in the mobility aspect compared to other legendary fruits but it also has really good farming capabilities so solid seven now moving into rarity does this fruit deserve to be in the legendary category placed next to things like magu mira things like that based on what i've told you already i'm pretty sure this should be a simple answer it definitely does the rarity placement is 100 a 10 it deserves to be a legendary i couldn't see it being a rare i cannot see it being a mythical by any means so honestly the rarity placement is a 10 for me and finally we're getting into our tradability so obviously the gura is not going to be as tradable as something like a magu there are are some people going around doing value counters and values for all the fruits and all the items so if you want to check that out I might leave a link in the description for you I'll be bold enough to say that Gura can class up to get some unobtainable items that is just coming from me though Obviously, I'm not going to shoot for Elo Hammer with a Gura or something ridiculous like that, but you definitely may be able to pull some outfits, maybe a couple of weapons off of some people using Gura alone. The fruit itself is pretty good, and the fact that it's a legendary even bumps it up. So with that being said, I'm going to have to give the tradeability maybe a six and a half, simply because it's not like you're gonna be pulling anything 
out of the ordinary with it you know you have a legendary fruit you're gonna expect either another legendary fruit or maybe like some kraken armor or a couple unobtainables nothing that's too too ridiculous for what it is if we were talking ridiculousness and you guys wanted an example of like a 10 then a 10 would definitely be something like all seeing eye or something like mochi that's like so rare that it's bare minimum unobtainable because even though some items are unobtainable that doesn't mean that they're necessarily rare something like uh the cupid hats and stuff those aren't necessarily rare i'm gonna give it a six and a half it can be obtained by anybody it's not necessarily the most rare when it comes to items but it definitely is rare when it comes to fruits so i'll give it a, a nice six and a half so after doing all the math after we do all the ratings it comes up to a 7.8 out of 10 which in my opinion has to be one of the most accurate ratings that you're going to get for this fruit. It's obviously not the best fruit, but that doesn't make it bad by any means. And it has so many things it can be used for that it pretty much bumps it up to almost an eight. If you agree with the rating is 7.8, make sure to let me know in the comments. If you disagree, you think it should be placed higher or lower. Let me know why I may make an updated video. I do know we're supposed to get an update soon, so I'm not sure if we're going to be seeing any nerfs or buffs to Gura. So maybe we'll have to touch this video again. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. I know I'm supposed to be streaming and stuff on this channel, but you know, I just be bored So I'm just on here for doing whatever but uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe make sure to like the video and as always I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye